Uh, well, I have recordings and very many people have complained. But, but who, like, what comments? Like, I, I'm interested. Okay, I've got recordings about, let's see, slave stuff. We never <laughs> said slavery. <laughs> We okay, okay, okay. Never please said, show us like, the slave video. Like, we will get video. out the footage. We've never said slavery. No, apparently he has some, so please show yeah, us the oh slave. God. What's up, brother? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today we are at part two of furry convention, furry fandom, whatever you want to call it. And uh, part one was a lot more nice and, and civil. Civil, and we were able to get good conversations with people. So we're hoping this continues in day two. We were shocked at how kind everyone was. They didn't automatically hate our guts. They were willing to have conversations with us. And um, yeah, we're just excited to see where today goes. And we actually sent a street preacher out here this morning and they were very warm of him as well. One of the staff prayed with him, took pamphlets. They, they said that they're willing to give it to other people that want to see the pamphlets. So crazy to say, but this is like a, a moderate furry convention. It's and not- possibly a great ministry opportunity for us. Yeah, possibly a great ministry opportunity too, for us. So without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's get straight into the video. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Support me on Locals for just $8 a month. Let's get to 150,000 subscribers on my main channel and 80,000 on the trenches. Daily videos of Lily Kate, or not daily, weekly videos of Lily Kate coming out on the trenches. So make sure you're watching every single one of those videos. I think that's everything. Yeah. Let's get into the video. Um, so can you all tell a little bit like how you figured out that you guys were furries and like wanted to be in this community? Um, furries for me was like, you know, I, I started when I was younger and I was watching like the anthropomorphic characters. Like in Disney? Yeah, Disney. Uh, my one of my favorite movies is Fantastic Mr. Fox, and uh, still one of my favorites to this day. And I don't think like when people say like they come out as furry. I don't. That doesn't make sense to me because it's just a hobby. I mean, I come out here to have fun. And just it's kind of nice to be able to come out here and just nobody cares what you do for work, what you drive, yeah. anything. You just come out here. Everybody likes and appreciates you, and All just have a couple of Coronas. It's not, definitely not a. It's definitely a mixed bag. Why I'm so? But uh, yeah, for me personally, I mean, it was just kind of you know, Fantastic Mr. Fox, like my like my buddy here touched on, great movie, and you kind of just get into it, and it's like, wow, you know, I really like this, really like animals, I like all this sorts of partying, and you know, we're here. So it started from animal appreciation, so to speak. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily I mean, I like say animals, that. but I don't know. I just thought the anthropomorphic ones were cute, and uh, when I saw the furries, uh, at first I hated them. I was like, oh, what the <laughs> so weird, and I was like. I, and I met one. I was like, "Oh, th these guys are pretty chill." I mean, <laughs> it's it's uh, know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Nobody. I mean, it's just like a party, pretty much. This time, if you ever go to like a bigger con, like Fur Week in Atlanta, Midwest Fur Fest in Chicago, Anthrocon, Anthrocon in, in Pittsburgh, it is just a f party the entire weekend. It's just like a nonstop party. It's great. Like everybody gets uh, smoke a little the the good stuff and. Everybody's just happy to be there. It's not a dull moment in this community. Yeah, not, not a dull, a dull moment. moment. Not a dull moment. You were said you have perfect oh, answer. Oh, yes, yeah. Okay, so when I was 11, that's when I watched Disney's Robin Hood for the first. You want me to hold on that? Okay. Sorry, no, I was telling Bo to okay. grab it. <laughs> um, yeah, when I was 11, I watched Disney's Robin Hood for the very first time, and that was when I felt weird. Uh, when I watched it, I just kind of felt a bit off. Like, for me being a straight person, like, I found both of the boxes hot for some reason. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. FBI, open up! <laughs> <laughs> and so, that, I guess I never realized that, that that actually did anything until back when I was in college, um, a few years back. Um, some, one of the, uh, I was working at the school cafeteria, and one of the cooks there, he thought it was funny, I guess, and he just said, hey, you're invited um, to this little laser tag um, group I'm in. I'm like, Okay, we do it every Wednesday. Oh, okay, that's cool. And then he said, "Oh yeah, fair warning. Uh, we we play with a bunch of furries." I'm just, I didn't, I wasn't one at the time. And I was just like, I don't care. <laughs> I didn't really know what to think of it. So you know, I just went there, play with them. They all seemed normal. Um, I saw no fur suits though, and that's what that's why I asked them. Like, hey, you told me that there was going to be a bunch of furries. Then they all looked at each other, looked at me, laughed their asses off, and they told me that they were the furries. I'm like, oh, <laughs> you all look so normal. <laughs> And so that really intrigued me. I wanted to learn more about their inner culture and I kind of studied them a bit. 
And then one of the artists, artist um, ladies there, she just said, hey, I'm joining you for Sona. I never hinted the desire for one. Um, I just said, um, okay. Uh, wh what's your favorite animal? Uh, the cheetah, I guess. What's your favorite, what's your favorite color? Blue? Okay, I'll be right back. Two, two days later, she comes back with this character right here. Based? Wow. Yeah. And so I fell in love with that ever since. So I have a question. Yeah. I have a question because I've had two answers, not saying both can't be right, but some people say that it is just um, accepting and like loving and being one with the animals. And then others are, like you said, you found the fox hot. So it, are both true or is one more true than the other? I saw you shaking your head. Um, okay, well, when you say like one with the animal, that's more like the Aritans, I think is what you call them. Yeah, I don't know about that. I just want to have like a secondary identity that I can go and party and have yeah. a good time. The, uh, there's like, a, I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. I, everybody's different and this community is really accepting for like pretty much whatever you want to do. Well, yeah. with not extremes. What not extremes? Um, you can like, say the words, don't even worry. Like yeah, we'll zoos and stuff. Like if you're into that kind of stuff, you're not going to be accepted. What are zoos? Uh, people that want to do things actively with animals. Yes, oh. that kind of stuff. That is not acceptable in this community. In, and Sorry, almost. quick question. In this community or in the furry community yeah. in general? The furry community in general. You're going to get, if you ever go on <clears throat> furry Twitter, you'll see call outs um, for different people. There's like Google Docs with pages and pages of evidence for stuff. And by 99% of the furry community, they're not going to be accepted in yeah. any part. Any Definitely conventions, they're going to be not. instantly banned from conventions. Hangouts, they're going to be based like blacklisted from coming into the events it, it's it's not very not acceptable that type of behavior I mean, this yeah. is great clarification because i got on twitter once uh because there was a big community of furries that absolutely hated my guts and i was looking at their pages and next thing you know i see that yeah, if on you twitter a, if you spend a lot of time on social media you're definitely going to be exposed to that type of deal yeah. but you know if you come and meet the people you're mm -hmm. going to realize you know it's one of the most accepting yeah. one of the most kind groups you'll yeah. ever meet and in they're, they're the extremists yeah. something i've noticed as we've been talking to people asking them how they got into being a furry is they always say that they saw a Disney movie with animals that are personified like people and have little personalities. Thank they talk about saying. Mr. Fox and like his fantastic adventures or whatever. All movies that we've all seen, you know? And it's, oh sorry, we're just gonna let you pass really quick if you don't wanna be on camera. Um, super interesting to me to think that like the inspiration for a lifestyle like this is like a lot of people listen to anime or watch animated movies so i'm just thinking what kind of effect does disney do even the harmless disney movies like alice in wonderland snow white those kinds of movies what do they have on people that makes them want to embrace this kind of lifestyle so i don't know just something to be aware of as you're becoming a parent and letting your children watch tv we're with Fusion, and we were talking before we started these interviews, and you actually had an encounter with street preachers, and you actually prayed with them. If you don't mind, walk us through what happened and your experience. So we had a few people show up with um, a microphone and then some signs as well, um, saying the classic Jesus loves you, things of that mm -hmm. nature. A lot of people have a really bad taste in their mouth about you know Christianity or religion in general, right? Mm -hmm. So anyways, we uh, have a policy against, you know, kind of going out and not a restriction on freedom of speech, but more of just we don't want to make people feel uncomfortable, mm -hmm. right? Um, a lot of people have a bad taste in their mouth about religion or something of that nature. So anyways, we talked to them for a little bit. Um, they're really nice. We gave them a quick tour, um, just round it because they're trying to understand more than anything, yeah. which is different from most of, you know, what you would expect. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyways, after that, they gave us some pamphlets to hand out, which is nice. We set them on the table in case anybody wanted them. Um, and then I prayed with them. That's awesome. Wow. Wasn't too bad. And you're so open. Um, and you even have pamphlets for them. What made you treat this encounter different than what you might with people that are more forceful. my way or the highway uh, forceful? Yeah, they approach with kindness, which mm -hmm. is something that you don't generally see. A lot of people come in here, they're hateful, they're like, oh, you're going to burn in hell. They didn't say that. Mm -hmm. They approach with love and just an open mind themselves, trying to learn and see what we're about. So mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's it was awesome. A nice experience. And mm-hmm. I say this all the time with Christians, the evangelistic Christians, which we all should be evangelizing, but we need to. The reason the decline, in, the reason for the decline in the church, is because we aren't doing it the right way. So I'm, I'm Christian. Oh. I am, mm-hmm. and I think a huge part is we're not doing it in the right way. We're saying repent or burn in hell as opposed to the love story of Jesus and how he died for all of our sins and how if we do accept him and we do repent, then we will be accepted to the kingdom of heaven. I think that's a better message. Certainly. Jesus ate with sinners, right? And love covers the multitude of sins. So that's one of the big things that some people go out and they forget that. They put their own prejudices in front of it. They put their own opinions. They think, oh, these people are nasty. It's not a thing. It's about art. It's about freedom of expression, things of that nature. Mm. Yeah, and and you might know, but in like First Corinthians, it's love is patient, love is kind, like that whole iconic Church chapter, the classic marriage yeah. verse. Well, yes. yeah, right, right, <laughs> exactly. But it's interesting because at the end of it, it says that you can have hope, faith, and um, peace, but all of these are worthless without love. And so I feel like, you know, as as a Christian, also, it is more imperative than ever to lead with that because then that's when you can have good conversations. And to be honest, we've had great conversations here just because we're not interested in coming in and being you're gonna go literally scaring the hell out of people you know like that's just not our goal because it's so unproductive and so yeah if you sell people on fire insurance you're not really going to you know fire insurance I don't know if y'all have ever heard yeah. the term yeah please say it right I like so where this is going. fire insurance is when you tell people that basically accepting Christ is keeping them from burning in hell mm-hmm. you're giving them insurance against death Get out of hell free card. Yeah, so there's no love for Christ. There's no love for others, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So that right there is a big thing, especially um, a lot of the Protestants and things of that nature will teach. Um, Being in the South, I've grown up, you know, around a church and things of that nature. That's one thing I saw a lot, and that doesn't produce a true Christian. Yeah. I think it's repeated in Peter um, that, you know. Love is Would you, a multitude of sins. Yes, that's true. Mm-hmm. Would you ever consider going back to the church if you found a church that loved you well? Mm, so I'm trans, right? Um, I consider myself a demisexual. What does that mean, just so we're... It's very, very hard for me to fall in love. Mm. Um, it's something that I've not really found. I'm 24 now, right? not something I've been interested in. There's a few people that have never been interested in me, though, so it's just one of those things. Um, But as far as if I'd ever go back to a church, that's a hard question. Um, I think it would take the right community and the right type of believer to kind of bring that inclusiveness, and maybe then I would. Mm -hmm. What would be, like, characteristics of a church that you would possibly, you know, you go and you're like, oh, wait, this kind of feels right. Like, describe what that would, what characteristics that church would have to make it acceptable and approachable and, you know, you'd consider it. They're open, especially in like a place of this nature, um, finding someone that is, or a church that is open to the LGBT plus community, um, open to people who want to change their body. Like, I have a tattoo. Some people think that's bad. I have multiple tattoos. I have one right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your body's a temple, right? You know, and well, let me, I think that's Old Testament as well. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I go in, into the Old Testament. So there's a lot of in, mm-hmm. very extreme Old Testament teachings uh, yeah. about <laughs> eating, eating certain types of meat and tattoos. There's a couple others that are just very absurd. In Romans 7, 6, it teaches that when Jesus Christ, Jesus died and rose again, Mm -hmm. that the Old Testament teachings were lost and his new teaching started. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm considered a New Testament Christian. And most modern day Protestants Mm -hmm. consider themselves modern day Christians to where they follow the New Testament and they'll also follow the Old Testament if it is repeated. Yeah, the the moral law, not the ceremonial law. So like Mm -hmm. tattoos would be considered ceremonial law Mm -hmm. and that's why it's not followed. Let me ask you a question then. Okay. So if, um, this is Old Testament, Mm -hmm. um, but if a man lays with another man as he lays with a woman, Mm -hmm. he has to be stoned. So high, Mm -hmm. right? Okay, no, no, no. You're, I'm sorry, I'm you're sorry. You're taking it too literal. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just joking about that. But seriously, is uh-huh. that a moral or is that a ceremonial law? Are you talking about LGBT? Mm-hmm. So it's repeated in the New Testament, which 1 Corinthians 6 9, um, Romans, Romans 1 27. Mm-hmm. There's approximately 13 Bible verses. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say against the LGBT, no worries, but no that stand to where marriage is between a man and a woman. Mm-hmm. It's a sacred thing. It's a sacred union, right? Just from the beginning of time, you had Adam and Eve. Yeah. Um, 
But I think what Paul he was a uh, was he asexual? Was he just abstinent? No, or is Paul, abstinent? Paul was abstinent, but he he is actually who wrote Corinthians, First Corinthians six nine. So that was the letters of Paul that I don't want to say condemned, but mm-hmm. condemned. So. Do I think it's possible for a true church to say, yes, you can be LGBT? Mm -hmm. To be honest, no, I don't. But does that mean that I'm not going to love you? Mm -hmm. No. I love you, and I will always be there for you. I'm looking for somebody to point at, but you're part of the same group. But this is what a true believer is, Mm -hmm. someone who loves. I mean, Jesus ate with the sinners, Mm -hmm. right? He was rebuked for going with the tax collectors. Yeah, no, it's Mm -hmm. absolutely true. And so, you know, and kind of, when a person really has that beautiful relationship with Jesus, they are fully invested of this is my savior. And out of that, you you know, the Holy Spirit, right? You have the Holy Spirit inside of you. And out of that poor, you know, well, gosh, sorry, wrong wording, but that's what we say. Um, like out of that, you have the fruits of the spirit. And out of that is love and kindness and joy and peacefulness and all the things. So with that, your relationship with the Lord makes you want to live in the way that he has ordered for Mm -hmm. humans. And so as Christians, you know, Paul says that we were either made for marriage or for singleness. There's really not a whole lot of in between because that's how human beings function best as a team or just totally submitted to the Lord and just, you know. And to procreate. Yes, yes, because marriage is ordered toward procreation. The housing market is full. <laughs> the housing market is really full. <laughs> but so, you know, with a close relationship with Jesus comes the desire to live right, mm-hmm. the desire to live in the way that he outlined for us to live. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it, it comes from a place of love mm-hmm. and a internal conviction as opposed to a place of, oh, I'm just saying no to this or this desire or this temptation or this, this, you know, thing that I, they, that I'm pursuing, not because I'm scared that I'm going to burn in hell because of it. No, but because I want to live right before the Lord. And when I enter, you know, the pearly gates, he says, well done, my good and faithful servant. I sent temptation your way and you, you did not fall to it mm-hmm. because this is not our world. And, you know, heaven is our eventual goal. Oh, totally. Like, you already have the lingo. Um, So, you know, it has to come from a more positive place as opposed to a, oh, I'm going to go to hell if I don't do this. So, you know, I just wanted to, you you have the right heart about about all of this. So that's why, very open. Um, Would y'all like to share kind of your perspective about Christians and how you think about them? Yes. Um, Uh, I am one myself. Nice. Yeah. What kind? Seventh-day Adventist. Oh, okay, that's new. That's not common. Yeah, Yeah. that's awesome. Um, I was uh, raised Christian, Lutheran, um, and slowly throughout the years, like some stuff happened in life. My dad passed away, my grandpa passed away, and there was stuff that like made me start doubting my beliefs. Mm. And then I went to school for science, Mm. and now with the outlook with that, I don't, I think pretty much when you die at this point, everything just goes black. Uh, I actually come from a Catholic background, so uh, I grew up Catholic. Catholic, Catholic. To the people. Uh, I went to a Catholic middle school, Catholic high school, Catholic elementary school, kind of grew up and uh, really my uh, grandparents, not quite that accepting, but my mom on the other hand, she's been phenomenal. She's been, you know, right back at me. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, right, she'd uh, boil water in a pot whenever we couldn't afford the electricity bill and I'd be taking a bath and, you know, it'd be really freezing cold. She'd boil water and pour that into me and I was like, dang, really love my mom. Aww, she's a, she's, she sounds she's wonderful. She is the most amazing woman on this earth. I mean, I guess. Shout out mom. Shout out. Sure. Shout out mom. Shout out mom to the people, for sure. You always got to thank your mom. I mean, unless they've done terrible things. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, Catholic background growing up, maybe I do believe in a higher power, maybe not. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. What really matters is, I mean, it matters to some people. I won't, I won't just acknowledge that. But uh, what matters is what you believe in, embrace it. And it's the people you meet along the way, right? So I have my buddy here. Uh, buddies here, you know, great friends. I would die for them any day, any day of my life. And uh, I won't disrespect anybody, but you know, it's just your life. You got to live it. You got to make the most of it. We only got one, and that's you know, one of the only. But you thing. could, you could have more. You, you could, could have, have the more. eternity. I mean, that's, that's true. Possibility, but yeah. on this earth, on this planet, I mean, there's this. I mean, I guess the possibility is endless. There could be an afterlife, which I hope there is. I, I swear to everything. Sure. I hope there's an afterlife. That'd be awesome. It just... Well, let me let me put it this way: If you, this is, there's something called Pascal's wager. Basically, it's like four quadrants, and there's a on the x-axis. There's if you believe and if you don't believe, and then on the y-axis or whichever one's the other one, it's um, 
there is an afterlife and there isn't an afterlife. So each of those comes together to, you know, create like a different solution, right? And so the first one is, okay, let's say there isn't an afterlife and you don't believe. You lose nothing, right? That's the first quadrant. You go over one more, there is an afterlife and you don't believe. Therefore, you just lost out on everything, okay? Right. So then we go to, there is not an afterlife and you do believe, then you also don't lose anything because, well, there's just nothing, right? But then there's the fourth quadrant, which is the most important one, which is you do believe and there is an afterlife and therefore you gain everything, you win, right? And so in my mind, it's much less of a, oh, I'm convicted about this or I believe it's this exact way. It's the fact that I'm believing that there is an afterlife and the Bible lays out very clearly the way to get there, right? Believing that Jesus Christ is our savior and he did die for our sins because the evidence of him being real is... I don't I mean, doubt Jesus was real. Right. I think the Bible is a fantastic way of how not to be an asshole in life. The Ten Commandments, I think, is a great... I think it's a fantastic book to read. I've never personally read the entire thing, but from what I can take from the bits and pieces I've heard from the different stories, I think it's a great way to uh, live your life. I think it's a, sure. a good... I, exactly what I said, the how not to be an asshole. Too. But the potential upside, say you do believe, and then there is the afterlife. You don't have to let the, your life go black at the I end. See, yeah. I, I agree. No with what you're saying. There is. All you're doing is believing. Yeah. I won't say. So I was. I used to pray and everything um, until my dad got like completely destroyed by cancer. And I was looking at it and I was like, well, how would a, an overpowering God let somebody die? Like I saw him get destroyed by cancer and then the kids in Africa they don't have clean water and, and kids dying from malnutrition and all this other stuff and it makes it hard for me to believe there which people say that he works in mysterious ways I understand that maybe there is some type of you know people go when they're supposed to go I guess I do believe in a type of destiny uh, I suppose for sure. um, sort of higher power it's a really really hard situation there. Yeah, and I mean, in a year, I don't know what happened. In a year from now, I'd be like, you know what? I think, I think I'm gonna start going back into Christianity again. I mean, there's no nothing to stop me from doing it. Yeah. It's you just need healing right now from what life yeah. is throwing. Yeah, at I'm you. just kind of living my life as it is right now. And in two, five years ago, I would have been like, I'm not gonna be at this camp at Furries. What the <laughs> hell are you guys talking about? It's crazy. But it, it everything just, I go day by day and how I feel, and you know, there's nothing stopping me from going back to Christ. I don't hate Christians by any yeah. means. I love everybody equally. Um, so like I said, maybe maybe one day I'll be back. I'll uh, see you guys you in, in church. I mean, you should try it. Yeah, 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 treat others it. as you want to be treated. We exactly. should film a video where we all go to church together, the same way we're all at the, at the community together. That would be Let's awesome. Yeah. Like, is your guys' channel? Is it mostly like Christian related stuff or what? Christian is it? and yeah. politics. Um, so I have a political awesome. show where I kind of talk about like you know big ideas yes. and what's happening yes. in the news oh, cool, yeah. and you know reacting to some like uber crazy stuff that's oh, happening. Yeah, like I'm sure we'd all find. I'm sure we sides. would all find yeah. it all crazy. But um, yeah, and then we do a lot of just man on the street content where we go to yeah. protests and we go to events and just see what people oh, are all cool. about. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty cool. Going back to what you said real quick on how you think the. Bible is a fantastic book of not how to be or of how not to be an asshole. Statistically, if you follow the Bible and just all of the teachings, you are set for the most success. If you look at the statistics behind it, like abstinence, um, the the way to go through with a marriage, um, how to use your money, spending your money wisely, when to have children, when to have children, like divorce. If you save yourself for marriage and are both Christians, there's a one percent chance for divorce. Um, financially, if you're a Christian and you spend your money the way the Bible teaches, you're going to be pretty financially stable. Um, so, like just looking at the teachings of the Bible, I think is evidence in of itself that thousands, hundreds, whenever the Bible was created, depending on your perspective, they still had that much evidence that in 2024, this is the teachings and this is how you're going to live a successful life. So I think that alone is a huge is a case, study. Um, case study. Why why must we leave? Uh, well, I have recordings and very many people have complained. This is a family-friendly event. Uh, what about us is not family-friendly? What do you mean? What are we doing that's not family-friendly? Uh, political. If you had read the book properly, we try to stay out of political. We try to stay extremely neutral. That is our purpose here. Are we not being neutral? Well, not with the recordings I've gotten from multiple people. Uh, we've gotten multiple... You thought we were great, by the way, right? I mean, I don't know. you got to listen to the staff, though. I mean, they run the joint. 
You thought we were great. Our interview was great. I don't know, but you just you got to listen to staff. I, I cannot don't think me. say whether your interview is great or not. I don't know about your channel. My job as security is to go, hey, this and this and this and this was done. You must go. That is oh, no, my job. On, so dude. I have to do that regardless of whether you are fantastic or whether you are not. I do not know, but I do have recordings of different things. That is. I thought proof. we were all in a community, though. Everyone's been so nice. Yeah, everybody's been nice. But I, this is what I have to do. I have to be the bad guy. You are the bad guy right now. Yes. You're going to be labeled as Mel Karen. Nah, I'm good. No, I'm good. You should know our, the job I our, did before this. I'm being very nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying our YouTube comments are probably like Mel Karen. Yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> yes. But who, like, what comments? Like, I, I'm interested. Okay. I've got recordings about, let's see, slave stuff. We never <laughs> said slavery. <laughs> We okay, literally okay, okay, have okay. never please show said, us like, the we slave will get video. out the footage, we've never said slavery. No, apparently he has some, so please show yeah, us I the slave. I'm about the presidential stuff, election stuff. Where's the... Well, we did ask Trump or Biden, but that's That was like, yesterday. Yeah, that's not political, yeah, though. Yeah, that's what I've got. That was yesterday. So. Wait, but is we've that just like... We've talked to staff since then. Is that then? not common conversation yeah, that well, people have normally? When I first came to y'all, I was good faith, and I was like, okay, I've been hearing things, people have been talking, people are not liking it. And it's a there's disruption. So I'm like, okay, I have good faith that y'all are doing the things. I've got to try to be the good guy, but as I said, my job is to yeah. do the thing. I thought you were very nice yesterday. I You're tried. still being nice today. Yeah, I just I'm hate it. You're kicking I'm... us out. <sighs> but yes, I I have to do that. If y'all want a refund, we can do that. Actually, that's uh, awesome. For today. Thank you. For today. That's on me. I'm not trying to be the bad guy. I'm not yeah. trying to be a male Karen. I don't care what the chat says. <laughs> this is my job. So, wait, but y'all are totally making it up with that slavery comment. We yeah, actually yeah. never but, said that word. All right, that's that's fine. And I you agree that we the, you agree that we never I said don't that word. Have that. That's one of the things that people have but said. But he was trying to accuse us of saying slavery, even though we didn't say it, and then just admitted that you don't have us on recording saying slavery, which we never said. But you're kicking us out for but that. This is, no, we're not. I'm not. I'm kicking you out for the stuff I do have. Which is, again? Presidential stuff. Let's see. That's it. Got, we asked no. one guy, Trump or Biden, <laughs> and we're getting kicked out for that. Let's see. You'll have to forgive me. My brain isn't working the best with this. It's hot. You get the pass. It uh, is pretty warm. There's that. There's uh, some of the questions that people have told me were on the border. Like, let's say they're on the fence of being... Oh, they're, they're not trolling. They're actually asking legit questions, which I want to thank... That's what you're asking, right? Legit questions, but they can also be construed as not legit questions. Well, copy, can we trolling. get away from the copyright music? Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. See, so I'm trying to work yeah, with people thank and you. be good with it. I do have one request. Yes. While we leave for the thumbnail, could you, like, choke me? No. Not in a kinky way. Just, just put your hand up to my... I actually cannot, because then if that come up on media, all my government buddies are going to come up. It here would. That would be the thumbnail but of no, you choking me. I cannot me. do that. I cannot. You keep asking about the whole furry thing. Would That's, you? Uh... Wait, please don't tell me there's a python in that. No, no, no. no, no. I'm an asshole, but I'm not that kind. Of... Okay. Um. Would you like? Is that yeah. Your, can is I see under? It? Can I see person? under it though? I'm scared. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is nothing in here. No snakes. There's nothing in here. Lily, you go in first. Fact, I mean, <laughs> you can. Okay, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, we're we're clear. We're clear. Yeah, no, you guys were asking, and Thank I thought you. like I'm we're, not we're, able we're to wear it. We're trying to get the information to do the so, things, but also I gotta um, do my job. So that's the thing. This is covered in fur. And I do apologize, but it's part of the fandom. Uh huh. Uh, you will put that over your face, and you need to go over your nose with it. Okay. It helps to keep some of the fur out of your mouth. <laughs> okay. Now mine has an elastic band. Okay. It's a little bit different from everybody else's. You'll want this to go behind your head. Okay. This is gonna bunch up, but all you do is tug it out and it'll get really roomy in there and you just adjust her until it fits you where you want it. They are painful to put on. <laughs> oh, wow. And then you adjust it like that and there you go. Do you have to like oh. shampoo and like condition um, it? I do because I'm paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I boop you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. We do have so, a lot of people that have anxiety problems, and this helps with that. So they communicate a little bit better. Yeah, booping. 
Oh, no, well, just, no, it's just generally the suit. The general. suit. Oh. Yeah. The teeth are kind of creepy. Um, like yeah, if you get it right, if you get it like under your jaw really good. Oh, you've got the all the fur bunched. There you go. You got the fur bunched up. And then she goes down oh, a little bit. Oh, I think it's like a that. nice look for you. And you oh. the jaw. <laughs> Say something. Ah. Okay. <laughs> all right, can we, can we switch now? Uh, I, I think I'm okay, actually. <laughs> this is so cool. I look. Right, Find Bo here next year <laughs> for joining party of, part of it. And then you take off the, you gotta keep oh. picking back my <laughs> Woo. Yeah, you guys you guys were interested and I figured Thank you, you. a few seconds of knowing what it's like inside one of the fursuit heads. I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda scary. Like the, the teeth, that's, the oh, teeth. No, that's actually the vibe. It's supposed to be like a, um, think like creepy goth um, jester vibes. Yeah. I love Halloween and everything Halloween, so like. I, it was definitely giving. All of my, yeah. You, you nailed it. Yeah. You nailed the vibe. Like, no, I like to scare people, so my whole thing is to make creepy all in good, All in good fun. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, except, well, kids. Kids are just really easy to scare, so. Oh. <laughs> As a parent, I can say that I do get joy out of scaring kids. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's so well, funny. Y'all yeah. are being so nice as we're getting kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear we're getting kicked out? Are you getting kicked yeah. out? He He's told us about us the slavery comment and then I was like, do you have a recording of it? Because we actually never said that. He's like, I don't have a recording, but I'm still kicking I you out. Know. Yeah, we're getting kicked out. We're, I'm just confused. Oh my God. I didn't know y'all were getting kicked out. Um, yeah. No, I'll, yeah. Go, I'll go talk to him because I haven't heard anything. We've had great, we just had a great combo with we all those guys. We just had a huge, so uh, like there's a huge, I don't want to say mob, yeah, no, that's but like that's one of the so, groups that we collab so nice. with. Well, there's a huge Look. group of people that were watching our interview and they just watched the yeah, whole time. Well, no, we actually one of our kitchen guys was like, I he's yes. sitting out here to get your info. We, we, we got, got his, his number. number. We're yeah, gonna, we're, we're gonna stay connected. We're like, okay, they are legit. This isn't a this isn't a Sorry, weird thing. You wouldn't have to own a red element, would you? No. A red what? Okay, that's not your problem. Oh, okay, you're good. We're good to go. No, no, no. Red element is a different. Oh. No. Y'all were close, and I got other people asking, so I decided to get that out of the way. Yeah, no, I'm the. Uh, they just parked behind four people, and they can't get out. Oh yeah. Y'all have y'all had a great turnout too. We were surprised. Yeah, I'm yeah. I know. I'm. I, I burn I'm to, I have all the time. So I have to have sunscreen. So like you know. I got blessed. I can just like get super tan and it just like. I used like... to. I used to. And then my vitiligo kicked in. And um, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've never used sunscreen in no. my life. Are you good to be on camera, by the way? Yeah, there's a camera. Are you over 21? Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Just have oh, to make yeah, the sure. Thing? Definitely ask that. We've no. always been asking. Okay. We definitely Are have. Are you good to go? As soon as we. Um, I'd have to talk to the director about that. I haven't. I, listen, as community manager, I haven't had any complaints yet. We've already talked about it. And I'll go talk to Tori, but it's. Well, I'll see if I can't work something for y'all. Cause I said yeah. kicking y'all out. I, I do have some stuff, but I don't think it. I want to think it's in good faith, cause it can't. It's on the fence. It could be construed. If you're on this side, it sounds bad. If you're on this side, it sounds. Oh, they're just asking for legit information. Yeah. So. I'm doing what I'm told, and I'm trying to make the middle ground. As long, I'll let you kick us out as long as you choke me, so I get a good thumbnail. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Though. I'm all about the YouTube clicks. Uh, I understand that. <laughs> That'll uh, improve the click-through rate. <laughs> Maybe even add the audience retention a little bit. You're insane. Yeah. That's, that's Unfortunately, I cannot do that because I'm just I'm I'm just I'm just, <laughs> I'm just tickling your balls. Now he's messing with you. Now he's just messing. Uh, I'm just. He's, he doesn't understand humor. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a marine. It just it goes right over. Oh, well, thank you for your service. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Right. Keeping our country free. Well. But let me, let's go talk to the director. Okay. See what's okay. Going on. I know y'all like record everything. Cause we would like to hear the recordings of us and then we can talk about the intent behind them. Okay. Cause I got some other the stuff. Yeah. The trenches. TV. It was probably our costumes. They're just not good enough. No. We need to do better. <laughs> this is kind of like, well, as I said, it's kind of the community too, a little bit, and everybody knows everybody, and usually new people. We're just right up on it. Plus, you're also, you have the mic. Of course. And the camera, which stands uh, out. It's more the camera than it is the mic. The camera <laughs> just sticks out like a sore thumb. Not that we're trying Especially to hide we it. we have a whole cameraman too. 
Don't worry, I won't do the whole like he's mute, he can't hear you. Have you saw those videos? Uh, Where like people get kicked out and they're like, he's mute. Yeah, well, that's another thing we we're worried about. Is apparently it's a trend for people to go to think cons like this it and is. get kicked out. Yeah, it is. So we have had today. We have had religious people coming. We've mm -hmm. had a various different other people coming. So this is why we are this way. We have this stuff happening all the time, and we. It's, it's getting harder and harder to see legit people yeah. between not legit people. That's fair. So that's why I have to be stern in the yeah, way that no, I am. No, we're not trolling. Okay, and if I can, because I do have some recordings, but as I said, it can be constru construed either way according to which side of the fence you're on. But it is on the fence, and we do got some people around here. This is supposed to be a safe area that asking some of these questions can be traumatizing because they have traumatizing life. So I'm what? So we try and avoid all that. How you doing? Doing good. How are y'all? Good, good. And unfortunately, the director is busy. So I have to figure this. Out. It's always a thing. I've been busy, and my mind is so like. You're good. From uh. So many things. Whew. So. You want us to keep following you? Busy. We're getting kicked out. What? Not quite yet. Yeah, we got to I got to talk to Tori about it and see what's going on. What questions did you ask? <laughs> they told us we said something about slavery, but we never literally ever said that word. Yeah, no, I don't have proof of that, but I have a lot of people but saying that. The fact things. that you tried to accuse us of that is so crazy to me. Well, I didn't quite accuse you. I said, you said you these said, are things that people have said. We could like, like now this could be construed also as I'm getting hearsay and I don't know sorry. for sure. I have to go hearsay, on facts. Hearsay be a thing. Yes. Sorry. So I have to go on facts and there's a lot of things going on. Uh, if y'all want to wait here, I want to try and find out where she's at so I don't string y'all around while yeah, there's sure. events going on. Yes, yeah, sounds yeah, good. And I don't want to waste y'all's time either. For sure. And I'm going to try and figure out and help y'all. So, so I know y'all want to see right here. Or What's that? Was that today or yesterday? Yesterday. Today I haven't gotten, nobody's really said something other than people's got a camera and they're walking around here interviewing people. Yesterday but that's just what people are saying. we've changed our job since then. Changed our job? Yes, PG-13. So PG -13. that was yesterday. We got we got so oh, see, I was not that. told this. So. Yeah. yeah so well, you were here yesterday. No, I had, I think he I was, I, his plate, I yeah, you have to um, forgive me. I'm dealing with stuff like this yeah. all the time. Yeah, and I've got to try to make sure everybody's happy. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. safe. And uh, when people stand out with cameras and a thing, it's kind of like, okay, everybody wants me, because this is what I do, wherever this thing says security, security lead, yes. I have to do things, and I try not to be the bad guy, and I try to be understanding, yeah. and not kick people out and be like, sorry I was a little hard on that, but most of the time, I have to be that way. You're yeah, good, yeah, yeah. I'm used to it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm used to it. Kick and, him out, uh, he has a camera. Yeah, that yeah, is our I'm actually, photography. I'm recording him. <laughs> but I'll be right back. I'll right. find out where this person is. We'll be right uh, here. Come here. Yeah, but we did get them in the morning. Okay. Just so I was clear about that See, yesterday. Okay. I know. Communications are here. All right. I'll be. Today's it's just day. no day. service. So if you're no service. Good warning. You Watch out for her. Things. So they're I'm following sorry. the code of conduct. Yep. Okay. I'm very sorry and I apologize then. That's okay. But I hope y'all understand. Uh, do y'all want to see a possum? Okay. As long as it's not a snake. No, it's if he doesn't like snakes, I promise to keep them away. <laughs> uh, when's the herp panel? Herp? herp? Meaning uh, reptiles. Oh, okay. The snakes. We do have the panel. What's uh, today, Saturday? I don't know. Yeah, because we do have a snake panel coming. Snakes is three to five. Yeah. So, yeah. Three when to is five that? Is it right now? Oh, God, I keep looking at my watch. It's wrong. It's it one is one forty-three. Okay, so yeah, time is three to five down there. Okay. So don't yeah. be there from three to five. Got it. Got it. <laughs> All right, and now that you're clear. Uh, Thank you. Want to come down here let's go I'll see bring, a possum. Yeah, let's go see a possum. Thank you. Minutes. Sweet. And y'all pet a possum, and then y'all can go back out and do things. Just be aware of people's. Uh, I shouldn't have to tell you, but I gotta say it anyway. Yep. People. And people. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Right back. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, we just had to argue back. We just had to argue back about that slavery comment. They pushed him right back. He didn't have anything. Anything. Lily was hard, more hardcore than no, I was. Anything, and I was gonna say, the guy who had the big mask yesterday came right over with the conservative flag here. He was definitely the one recording. 
because he was intentional and just would like would not say anything about politics and so he probably was the one who turned it the the, the second girl that we interviewed the little one because she was smirking when we were talking to the big group yeah she was like and she had her phone out too so it was definitely those two were the problem but they accused us of the slavery comment and i intentionally never said that word because i know that that would have been bad so you just gotta push oh back. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh my goodness. Now, this is Mr. Gremlin. Mr. He's Gremlin. a non releasable. Here, watch out. This is, do you want to touch him? Yes. Yeah. And two, their tail, if you go this way and then go the opposite way, it feels Wait. different both ways. Oh, yeah, it's like spiky <laughs> on the oh. way back. Oh. Aww. But yeah, he's a sweetheart. Is he he's a big dead? skunk. He's a, uh, a possum, not a skunk. Pump, possum. <laughs> he's not a skunk. I almost called him a pump. <laughs> a punk. <laughs> a punk. But uh, he's, uh, he'll be two years old in September. This is what I do is that, in my spare time. Is that old for he's, a possum? Like, what is their normal uh, lifespan? Two years in the wild, three years in captivity, and we have had some that lived four, but it's very rare. Very, okay. He's big. Yeah, so, he's a big boy. His brother, Big Wampus, is like three times his size. <laughs> nuh uh. What do you a, feed them? He's about nine pounds, and his brother was almost 20. Man. He was a big boy. Oh, my goodness. And he can't release his smell. Uh, oh, wait, that's oh, a skunk. That's a skunk. What are you? No, nah, he's, uh, oh, I got, hold on. Have you had him play dead before? Uh, that's actually involuntary. I got a possum here in my mouth. Oh, gross. Uh, so what they usually do is the mouth open, they drool a little bit, and that's yeah. to make, hey, I'm scary, don't mess with me. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then if that doesn't uh, work. Yeah, they'll, they'll go to uh, pooping and peeing, and they got a scent gland that smells like a skunk. Oh. But it goes, it's not like the skunk. It's the same, It's a different chemical. It goes away. The smell goes away. Oh. Nice and then if that doesn't work and it gets nice. really scary, you know, like the goats where they scream or at them or something, they yeah. stiffen up, fall over. Yeah, yeah. Then that happens. Wow. Okay, so it's literally like a, a adrenaline stress response. Yeah. Wow. Now, I want to think possums are pretty metal because if, uh, let's say, a coyote or wolf gets a hold of them and they go through that response, they can uh, cut off their pain receptors keep their eyes open the whole time so they can stare at the predator as the predator tries to eat them. And, uh, you know, yeah, they can do this. It takes 45 minutes to an hour to get out of it once they get into that catatonic state. But it's, uh, it's, not, the, it's not the best for them, but they do do it. He's um, so precious. Thank you for showing us, and thank you for yeah. all your possum facts. Those are super cool. He can't bite, or does he just choose not to? What's that? He can't bite, or does he choose um, not to? Uh, think of it, the easiest way I know how to put it is if you see a random person in the street and you wanted to bite them, do you want to bite them? Like, no. people are dirty. Yeah. So <laughs> they think the same way. We're pretty gross to them. And he'll spend an hour cleaning himself after this. Really? Uh, when he wakes up and goes to sleep, he'll spend an hour cleaning himself when he wakes up oh. and an hour cleaning himself when he goes to sleep. I love a man who knows how to take care of himself. <laughs> yep. And Mr. Grimms, well, it's hard to tell who's male and female sometimes, but... You know, they got dangly bits. Yeah, it looks pretty ballsy to me. <laughs> yeah, they got they got a special muscle, so if they do dumb male stuff, they can suck it up in and keep it safe. Huh. Wow. Thank you, brothers, for watching this YouTube video. I'm a little out of breath. We just had an amazing volleyball game. We got lost, but it was she was on the team. It's okay, though. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Were you as surprised as we were? We were very surprised. I mean, maybe we're alone and you think they're crazy too. For for where, where we are, this was very normal. I would say that. We're impressed. Ama very impressed. open-minded people. Very amazing, minded people. amazing conversations. I think we did a great job spreading the gospel. Had people second-guessing themselves in a very friendly, non-calling, or non-confronting non non demeanor. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Support me on Locals for just $8 a month. And go watch Sanity Check. Go watch Sanity Check. The link will be in description. She posts every week on the trenches. Thank you guys. More frequent uploads on the trenches from me as well, so get look, looking forward to that. I love you guys. <laughs> Peace out, brothers. <laughs>